Hmm. Well, you can't spell setup assistant without ass, now can you? Safari can't verify the identity of the website apple.com. Well, that's a bit of an issue. The old front row carousel interface with sound effects. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I'm getting so much nostalgia. Enjoy that old icon. Look at the platinum loading bar. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Really? That's just great. You know, I'm doing pretty great today too because we're going on a big nostalgia trip today. Yeah, it's really just nostalgia for me, but I want you to come along with me. This is not just your everyday Intel iMac. And not only was this one of the earliest Intel Mac computers, this was my first Intel Mac computer. In fact, it was my first Mac after I switched back from Windows as my daily driver for years. This was my gateway back into the Apple world. This was the first computer I ever cut video on. This was the first computer I ever used iMovie on. I explored a lot about my creative interest on this exact computer. And I've cleaned it a few times, but there's still a lot of barnacles and crust on there and some old user account stuff and all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restore it with the original software disks. And a lot of the stuff that came on these disks, which I don't even remember all of what came on these disks, is not even on here anymore. So it would be cool to get all that stuff back and go back to Mac OS 10.4, Tiger. It's currently running Lion, but it would be cool to flash back to Tiger, the first version of Mac OS 10 I have ever used. So this is gonna be a nice little time travel trip. Time to boot this baby up. Now, one thing I really liked about this computer was the sound it made when you turn it on. Just the quick rush of the fan spinning and then the hard drive kicking in. I just liked it. And the super drive, hearing the super drive kick in. Oh yeah, that was a thing. And then of course the startup chime, you gotta love that. Yes, there is a Windows XP partition on here, but I'm not going to touch that. That is running some legacy Windows software and games that I don't wanna get rid of, but I do wanna refresh all of the Mac parts of this computer, so. We have two disks here, four Mac computers, Mac OS X install disk one. In you go. Hang on, hang on a second. The super drive is sounding a little cranky. Let's eject for a sec. All right, so that's kind of okay. I'm gonna reinsert the disk. Just listen to this. Tell me if this is normal. Okay, admittingly, that wasn't as bad sounding as it was a little while ago. Maybe it just needed to uh, warm up. Okay, let's hold down Command-V and go into the install disk. So we get verbose mode, which is way more fun, because it takes a while to load off the CD, so you might as well entertain yourself looking at the Kex, the mock kernel, and the unique device identifier. I forgot what UUID stands for. <laughs> And we're at the blue screen. That was actually quicker than I thought it would be. Ah, the old beach ball. And the old aqua interface, yes. Oh, that's another thing that's gonna be a huge throwback here. Look at the chrome and the aqua. The barber pole, beautiful. Oh yeah, spotlight and dashboard. Those were big new features for Tiger. The old OS X logo. Oh man, I'm having so much fun already. Oh, this is great. About installer, 215, cool. All right, let's go to utilities. Disk utility, that's what I want. Oh, we got pinstripes going on in that menu. Oh yeah. Mac OS X, there we are. Again, we're not touching Windows XP or the Matt Shitta DVD. <laughs> I didn't need to know that. Gonna go to Erase. Yep, we'll keep OS Extended, uh, OS Extended Journaled, Mac OS X, the old pill buttons, the pill-shaped buttons with the aqua. Oh, so beautiful. Erasing a volume will destroy very, very deadly. Destroy all information on the volume. Yes, time to erase. Time to start fresh and go back in time from lion to tiger. Back at the installer. Continue. Continue. Agree. I read every word. Obviously, we can't install it on this volume. Oh, it actually says it's Windows NT. It knows that. Very smart. Options. I guess we could have done an erase and install from here, but I like disk utility. Disk utility is my bitch. 
Click install to perform a basic installation. Okay, the software you're installing requires Mac OS X install disk too. Yes, before the days of the App Store and the cloud, we had DVDs. <laughs> what am I talking about? That's not a very old technology. Any hoozle, I do have disk two ready to go. Again, I don't really remember what came bundled with this system and it's been a long time since I've really used Tiger at all. So this will be fun. Let's see, printer drivers. I think we can skip that. I'm not gonna be printing anything. Fonts, yes, that'd be great. Language translations, no. I'm just speaking English. Essential system software is good. X11, we definitely should have X11 on here. It's fun to mess with the X window system. Bundled applications, okay. This is what I'm interested in. CPU help files. I have no idea what that is. Omni outliner, oh man, I haven't touched that in forever. Comic light, oh, I remember experimenting with this on this computer like way long ago. I didn't use it too much. Big Bang board games, yes. I, yes, playing chess and checkers with the sun and moon goddess, god and goddess. It's been a long time, but I'd like to have that on here. Front row, something that doesn't even exist on Mac OS anymore. And since this is Tiger, this is the old turntable style front row. Not the newer one, like what the Apple TV had when it first came out. This was the old turn style interface with the cool, or the, the carousel interface with the cool sound effects. F yeah. Oh man, photo booth, so many fun memories messing around in that. Oh yeah, trial software. This did come with a trial software, that's right. iWork 06 trial, why not? iWeb, all the old iMovie app, or the uh, iLife applications. iMovie, the first software I cut video in, this looks great. So far, so good. GarageBand demo songs for GarageBand, why not? Sounds and jingles, probably for GarageBand, I would imagine. And iMovie. And then the Office 2004 test drive. Yeah, this was back when Apple included more third-party stuff. They don't really do that anymore, which I appreciate. It's a little less bloaty that way. But yeah, you got an Office 2004 test drive. Dude, let's freaking do it. Install this shit. Yes, I have disk two ready. Continue. Checking your installation DVD. I don't know why it did that. What did that actually do? 0% complete. Well, I'm gonna press the space bar and skip that. <laughs> and commence the next part, preparing for installation. And what I like to do is I usually like to bring up the installer log just to see what's uh, happening. And we're gonna go from show errors only to show everything as it's running the BSD subsystem thingamajig right now. And then here you go. Now you can see all the shit it's installing. And if you want, you can scroll and see these very long lines if you'd like. Base system part one, the aqua is starting to fill up. Oh, and the part I'm really excited for the intro video that played when you installed this system. Do you remember that? That was Apple's coolest intro video. And for some ambient calming sounds, I now present the sounds of the super drive. Enjoy. Ah, majestic. Wasn't that relaxing? Anyway, we're extracting files now, it looks like. 95% base system part one. Oh, now it gives me an estimated time remaining, an hour and 20 minutes, installing essentials. Holy shnikes. I mean, that's not terrible, but man, it's so much faster nowadays. I mean, if you have a good internet connection. Once the download is done, the install is really fast because it's all solid state, but yeah, to, to download over the cloud, you should have a decent internet connection. Ah, trade-offs. Well, we're down to 56 minutes, so that's good. And we're on Java. I just saw it say it was installing iCal. Yeah. I remember that, that used to be the name of the calendar application. Now it's just called calendar, hmm. And now we're on Safari, yes. Built-in web browser and the dictionaries, that's cool. The Mac having a built-in dictionary has always been a super useful feature. Hey, hey, X11 time. We're gonna have some fun with that. Basically, that's just a way to run the X window system in Mac OS X. And it's rebooting, auto-magically. I forgot it actually does do a reboot between the two DVDs. Bong, there we go. Out you come. Install disk two, in you go. Here we go, phase two. Oh, and there's another fun thing I just remembered about these disks. On there it says A, well, I dropped it. But on there, it says AHT version. That was Apple hardware test. So the hardware diagnostic software is actually on these disks and that actually might be what I used these for in the past, but nothing else. I do want to experiment with that because if I remember correctly, the interface for that looks very OS 9 Platinum-y, <laughs> which is kind of funny seeing on an Intel machine. So yeah, we'll experiment with that later. The Apple hardware test. Right now we're installing the iWork 06 trial. 
Yeah, Apple changed that stuff quite a bit recently. There was a trial, and then you could pay for the full version, and now it's just all free. All of Apple's software is free, except for their pro apps, which is pretty awesome. Times have changed. And what's that? I see a little proxy sitting up here. Let's see where you are. You're in the variable folder database. I'm guessing that's what stands. <laughs> that's what that stands for. And then dot apple multi cd install dot dist. Yeah. Dot dist distribution. I'm guessing. I never really saw that t file type before. PKGs for like packages. Yeah, but dot dist. No sir. Installing iWeb. That was the first program I ever made a website in, and. I actually used it for a long time to make computer clan websites before I switched to Adobe Muse, which, hey, Adobe is now killing off. <laughs> yeah, I still have my domain file, though. I can't open it, though, because I have nothing to run iWeb on, but I have this computer now. It may be fun to <laughs> install iWeb09 and open up that domain file to see all of the old websites I used to make. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that might be something fun for another day. Installing other iWeb page templates. Well, good. Other. And that was iMovie HD that just blew by. The program that started it all for me. In terms of video editing. Now we're on to iPhoto, which doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah, iWeb doesn't exist anymore. iPhoto doesn't exist anymore. iDVD doesn't exist anymore. GarageBand and iMovie were the only ones that made it out alive. And we just finished. The installer will quit in 26 seconds. Now we can speed this up by pressing close. Yes, of course we will do that. Out comes the disc. Yoink! Ooh, nice and toasty. All right, let's reboot, I think, into the setup assistant, and let's see what's up. I haven't seen a Tiger setup assistant in, oh, I don't even remember how long. Oh boy! Just right into it. Oh yes, we can sign up for a .Mac membership. I remember that. that. That's what evolved into Mobile Me, and now that is what we know as iCloud. Yes, that used to cost money back in the day. Yes, good times. Oh, the cube animation. Oh my gosh, that's hot. I can just do this all gosh darn day. Don't transfer my information. I don't have any information. But I do have a United States, so we'll choose that. Hmm, someone nearby must have just installed some Spectrum Wi-Fi thing, because I've never seen that before. I bet one of the guards just got a router and, like, didn't change the name on it. <laughs> so we'll go with the um, government-sanctioned Deep 13 router. Enter your Apple ID. I do not want to put one in. And, yeah, it's going to make me do this bullshit. It used to make you always do this. You could skip it in... I think you can skip it, and I don't even think it asks you in new versions. You are an asshole. Well, you can't spell setup assistant without ass, now can you? Ten stories underground. Hopefully it'll accept that. Okay, where will you primarily use this computer? Is there an option for ten stories underground? No, there is not. Well, it's basically my home, so I'll say home. What best describes me? Psychopath? Sociopath? Uh, I don't think any of those are in here. We'll just say retired. And no. I do not want to stay in touch. Go away. Create your account. Well, my name is Crazy Ken. Short name, Crazy Ken. I don't need a password. Connecting to Apple. An account picture. What best describes me? Well, I am doughy, so gingerbread. Let's do that. Is there even dough in a gingerbread? I don't even know. Don't forget to register. I thought I did that. Enjoy your Apple computer. Okay, I will do that. Blue screen. And... The Aqua Interface. Ah, the old wallpaper. Oh my gosh. The brushed metal. Hello, you remember this shit? I mean, it was cool. Brushed metal, Aqua, the menu bar. Rounded corners in the menu bar to simulate that CRT feeling. Maniac Mike and I were actually just talking about that on a recent episode with the first developer preview of Mac OS X. That's a good one. Go check it out. Hey, software update popped up. There are things. That, oh, there's a lot of things. iPhoto, Airport, Front Row, X11, Pages, Keynote, Java. Wow, a lot of good stuff. I'm going to close that for now. And let's take a look at what we got down here. Oh, we got the dashboard. Oh, yeah. Cupertino, calendar, the clock. Now, this is still a feature in macOS. It's just kind of hidden because we have the notification center now, but you can turn it on still. And you can just drop these things in and watch them ripple. 
Yeah, oh, I'm getting so many flashbacks now. When I was, like, first using this, I was like, wow, it animates, and it's so pretty. And you can hold down shift and, like, here, wait. I think you can hold down shift, and it, like, morphs in slow motion. Look at that, and then, poof, ripple. Yeah, all oh, the dashboard. Good times, man. <laughs> Good times. We got iPhoto, iMovie, iDVD, iTunes, GarageBand, iWeb, iCal, Apple, Mac OS X, which was a thing you click on and you go to the web. <laughs> Safari can't verify the identity of the website apple.com. Well, that's a bit of an issue. Well, it probably doesn't know what this type of certificate even is. It's a very old version of Safari. But yeah, it brings you to the Mojave page now. Look at that. Oh yeah, I can't resize the window from the edge. I gotta go down to this thing. I think it's called the thumb. Oh yeah, take a look at how that renders web pages. Oh shit. Oh, that's just beautiful. This is what, Safari 3 or 2? Two? 2! Two. This is version 2. Copyright 2005. Wow, that goes back. The pinstripes and the menus. Oh, I dig it. So I know there's some other applications that got bundled on here. So yes, we do have Comic Life, the Big Bang board games, holy schmoly. I think we have a free trial of Microsoft Office 04. Yes, we do. Holy cow. These icons, man. Word, Entourage. I don't even know what freaking Entourage is. Excel, PowerPoint. Let's open up PowerPoint. Yes, evaluation copy. I agree. I did not read. I'm sorry, but I do agree. Microsoft. Oh my gosh, look at this. Installing fonts onto your hard disk. Dude. It, it says test drive, like, all over the splash screen. Just, just in case you forget. Oh my gosh, it expired? Oh, I just installed it, you asshole. <sighs> Fine. No fun, Freddy, son of a bitch. Okay, we'll ignore that. The Big Bang board games. This is what I was talking about. Oh, we got Tic-Tac-Toe, Chess, Checkers, Backgammon, Mancala. Or is it Mancala? I really don't even know. All right, let's do Tic-Tac-Toe. Oh, shit. Oh, hang on, volume. Tiger is not quite used to this keyboard. Oh, how do I turn up the freaking volume? Well, I guess I'll just go up here and do it. Ah, the old sounds. Okay. Solo. Okay, so I shall play... I don't know what hot seat means. I'll play the sun side. So I can kick Luna's ass. Yes, we shall play a game and I'm gonna kick your ass. Just because you're a goddess doesn't mean you can do everything. This is gonna be a stalemate. It's just like War Games taught us. There's no way you can win this game. The only winning move is not to play. Oh, such dramatic music. It's tic-tac-toe. How can you lose unless you're an asshole? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I did not say that. That was, like, in the game. Just a heads up. Yeah. Um, oh, my gosh. Reversey. Steve Ballmer would be so happy about that. I suck at chess. Four in a row, I, I, I'm gonna beat the moon goddess. Oh, it's curved, I don't know if I can handle this. Mm-hmm, I'm sorry. But I win. The sad thing is, I couldn't even tell I was going to win with that move because I'm not used to playing it in such a 3D perspective. It kind of confused me, but I kicked your ass, Luna. Suck a big one. I'm just kidding. That was rude of me. Ignore that. I'm so sorry for just bursting out of my anger. Anyway, comic life. Hell yeah. You remember this shit? So yeah, I mean, I never really used this, but it came with the system. But yeah, you could make like comics and shit. Like you could put pictures in here. I don't really have any, but if I did, you could put them in here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, lettering and all the old sheets that curved like that. Hang on, let's undo that. I think there were sound effects there. Ooh. <laughs> that is delightful. There are sound effects, like, all over this software. But yeah, you could put bubbles in there and everything. Yeah, this was a... A nifty little program. I don't know if this is still made. Oh, that's a sock puppet mascot. Yeah, that's not scary at all. That I, I think I just, uh, I, I didn't need to sleep tonight anyway. Oh, Sherlock, that's right. This was still in here. 
this was a thing. I think this is the last version of Mac OS X to come with it. I don't even know. I don't even know what to freaking do. In Mac OS 8 and 9, when the software was newer, there were like big buttons you could press and stuff, but now it's like, uh, what do I do? I really don't know. Add? I have no idea how to freaking even use this thing. That was really exciting. And iWeb, oh my gosh, all these iLife applications, so cool. That's right, you can publish to a .Mac account, that's right. I'm gonna close that though. But yeah, you can make your own websites. Again, I have some old files. I'm not gonna load them up right now because I think I need iWeb 09 to do that and this is probably 06. Oh yeah, version one, yeah, 2006. But yeah, I used to build the Computer Clan website and all of that stuff in iWeb. But hey, it was pretty cool for included software, you know? It just was built in. You can choose a template and go to town. New QuickTime tutorials at this link. Yeah, I bet it still works. Yeah, no freaking way. That was discontinued a long time ago. But thank you for your interest. No, I did not mean to minimize you. Get back up there. I meant to zoom. Our trip to Tuscany, yeah. So, yeah, this was iWeb, man. Good times. All right, guys, now it's time for the moment I've really been waiting for. Aside from the simulated CRT aperture rounded corners, there's something else I really like about the system. The old front row carousel interface with sound effects. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I'm getting so much nostalgia. Because I remember playing with this when I was a kid. I was like, oh my gosh, you can watch videos on your big screen monitor. The sound effects, music, you had music, <laughs> photos, all the nice sound effects, man. Scene one, Apple, take one, common mark. You got a little slate sound. And then the DVD, probably the coolest sound effect in the thing. So that was the front row interface. Yeah, the nice animations and everything. They just did a lot of fit and finish with this bad boy. Cool, another fun thing that is bundled with this system that is not currently bundled with macOS is X11, which this particular application runs the X window system, or excuse me, not necessarily the X window system environment. Well, I guess, yeah, the X window environment inside of macOS 10. Yeah, the X window system, look at that. So we could run programs like X-Eyes and have a lot of fun with that. Check that out. Not as freaky as the ones I made in the Hannah Montana Linux episode, but still pretty crazy, right? We could do X-Clock. Huh. Or maybe not. All right, well, let's do Emacs. I'm f***ing up everything. Hang on, let's just abort this. Try again. Emacs. There we go. We can uh, load up a game, like Pong. Oh yeah, that's right in Tiger. It just supported an ASCII art version of Pong, not a very graphical version. Let's see, I think there's some built-in applications here. X logo, the X manual, terminal. I mean, uh, let's see, X calc I think is, yep. So you can just run all these I guess X window system programs, I'm not really sure what exactly they're called, but yep, they're here. There you go. So that was built in as an optional part of the installation. So now, for the grand finale, we're gonna boot into the Apple hardware test and you're gonna enjoy the classic Mac OS Platinum interface on a modern Intel flat screen Macintosh because the interface in the Apple hardware test was still using the old design. So let's reboot and hold down the D key, D as in Delta, to boot into Diagnostics. AHT, Apple Hardware Test. Here we go. Enjoy that old icon. Look at the platinum loading bar. <laughs> Look at this, man. English, platinum buttons, let's do it. Look at that. The barber pole, the tabs. This was the Apple hardware test. It came with your installed DVD. Product, iMac, iMac 5.1, Core 2 Duo. 
Number of cores, two. Hmm, good to know. <laughs> Glad we figured that out. Huh, I don't think I've ever really gone through this before. It has all of our specs, which is nice. And there's our RAM. Yeah, I think this originally came with one gig when we bought it like years ago, but it has been upgraded to four since, but I think it can only fully address three gigs. So yeah, check out that old interface. Apple hardware test 3A111, 2000 to 2006. Pretty awesome, right? That's how you get platinum. All right, reboot. You know, it is really cool to have this restored to its former glory. I mean, aside from the Windows XP partition, this is how the computer was when I received it, and it's given me like a huge nostalgia attack. I made a lot of old videos, not just on this thing, but about this thing, like the freaking iMovie tutorial I made back in 07. I had to do this on a video that was only five minutes, and it took a whole whopping 50 minutes for the thing to render, and then I'm running off of a 2.16 gigahertz Intel Pentium. Yeah, I, I talked like I had a clue about what I was doing. <laughs> I said there was a Pentium inside this thing. There isn't a Pentium inside this thing, it's a Core 2 Duo. I don't know why I said Pentium. I was so dumb, well, I still am dumb, but I was dumber back then. I remember having friends over and we'd record movies with the iSight camera in iMovie and edit them together. We'd mess around in photo booth. Man, a lot of memories. Yeah, that was so much fun. And just everything was right here in the dock. I could just go down and click on something and learn about it and make stuff. And I guess it was that simplicity of the creative tools that really sold the Mac experience to me. So yeah, this is pretty much where it all started. The Mac was my first personal computer I ever used. I actually have a computer history video that talks about that stuff, but I was really young. I didn't really know what it was. And then I used Windows for many years, but this was the computer that brought me back to the Mac and I've been with it ever since. I think everyone has their own computer nostalgia stories and I'd like to hear yours too. They're really fun to hear about. So share down below and there's more to come on Crazy Ken. Thanks for sticking with me, catch the crazy, and pass it on.